Okay, we're gonna start off in just a nice, easy seated pose and just start to assess our bodies and, you know, tune in to what our body's telling us, making sure we don't have any issues or, or thoughts that might come up later in class. And then just gradually, slowly come to stillness. And then all those little things in your mind, I call them confetti, some people call them squirrels, just little things in your mind. It, this is the perfect time. This is just you and I on our mats. And let's let those little things go. Just block them out, take them, put them on your mat, and slowly start to breathe. We're gonna do some deep breathing, their Ujjayi breath. So let's go on an inhale, through the nose, all of the air that we can. Hold it for a moment and then exhale. And make that breath as loud as you want. Inhale. Teresa, I'm going to put the laptop on the carpet because I think that way you can see me and I can see all of you. Can oh, I that sounds great. I've got mine on the carpet. Okay. Hope I don't lose you. Oh, that's excellent, Joanne. That's perfect. I can see all your body. Okay. Can you see my all the way to the you. I, I see you from the waist up. Waist up. Mm -hmm. Let me maybe adjust this. How about now? Is that better? It's better. Okay. I'm now sorry. we're just sitting in our easy seated position and we're working on our deep breath and let's slowly start rotating our head maybe draping it to the right and then maybe taking our right hand over our left ear and slowly dipping down like you're pouring water but just gently guiding it, not tugging it, but just guiding it. And then slowly switching, taking your hand down to the mat and then taking your left hand over your right ear and just slowly guide it. Again, like you're pouring a pitcher of water and then releasing. And then slowly let's rotate our neck into circles, just very slow, just until we get the feel of what our neck feels like today. Hearing all the little pops and crunches And then reverse. And coming back to stillness, let's start warming up our shoulders by rolling them forward bringing them up towards your ears and rolling them forward. And just slowly. And then reverse, going backwards, rolling those shoulders up towards your ears and back. Hmm. Coming back to stillness.
taking your palms and bringing them together in prayer pose. Thumbs touching, hand pointed upward. And take a deep inhale in through the nose, using all that air in our lungs and holding for a moment and then release. We're gonna do this three more times. Deep inhale. Mm, exhale. Holding those thumbs close into your sternum so you can feel your breath. And one more. Mm. Excellent, Joanne. While we're on, while we're in our seated position, let's start doing circles with our, I like to just say our torso and just lean forward to the left or right and just come in a full circle to the back and slowly going forward to the front. Feeling it in those sides. And then reverse, go in the opposite direction. Getting our body nice and warmed up. And coming back into stillness. Bringing our hands up to the sky and slowly going to the right, just very slowly draping them over, maybe placing that right hand on the floor and holding that left arm over your ear and just holding this for a few moments easing into a nice side stretch. And then slowly coming up and going in the opposite direction, left hand down on the floor and easing that right arm over your ear and holding this for a few breaths. And coming back up into our seated pose. And now that we've kind of got warmed up in our upper body a little bit, let's come to our mat in tabletop. Taking our shoulders over our hands, knees slightly apart, hips squared, back straight, all with your breathing. And maybe starting with a few cat cows to get our back warmed up. Maybe arching, arching like a mad cat. Sucking that belly in, strengthening that core. And then relaxing like a cow swaying our back 
heads up and going at your pace. Exhaling on cow. Inhaling on cat. Really scooping that belly into that core. slowly coming back to stillness. Let's bring ourselves down to the mat into child's pose. Velocity. Big toes together. Knees apart. Belly toward mat. Maybe putting your forehead down on the mat and reaching those hands out for a nice yummy arm stretch. And we're going to stay here for about 10 breaths.
and then slowly coming out of tabletop, I'm sorry, out of child's pose. And coming back to tabletop into stillness. And we're going to do a revolved tabletop pose, taking our right hand and holding it straight up to the sky. And then we're going to thread the needle, taking our right hand under our left arm and laying our head down on our right cheek. And holding this pose, making sure you're comfortable. then coming out of your thread and needle, placing your hands back into tabletop, and then taking our left hand and swooping it up to the sky. Really feeling that stretch in your arm your, and shoulder, and then slowly coming down and threading the needle on the right side. And slowly unthreading your needle, coming back into tabletop. And on an inhale, curling those toes under and coming into downward facing dog. Taking the time to pedal your dogs out. Get your hamstrings warm, shoulders away from ears. And on stillness, coming back down to your knees into Balasana, child's pose. And on an inhale, pressing back up, curling your toes under, back into downward facing dog.
from downward facing dog, we're gonna lift our right leg up to the sky. And swoop it forward towards your hands, making it parallel with your mat into pigeon. And sometimes this is a, a tricky position, maybe not tricky, but sometimes it's a little, um, sometimes it works better days than others. So now's a good time if you need a, some kind of pillow that you have around home or a blanket and place it underneath your right side to give you some extra support. Sometimes I have to do that on one side. Sometimes I have to do it on both sides. The goal here is to just gently stretch and not cause any kind of discomfort and pain. And all the time we're breathing, our nice deep breaths. And when you're ready, listen to your body and see where it would like to go today. Would it like to go to your forearms? Would it like to go further down with your forehead on the mat? This is your practice and it's totally up to you and we're gonna stay here for a little while. You doing okay, Joanne? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Sometimes I use my boulder for my head, but is that okay to modify? Of course, it? of course. Anything that you need. I've got my little props from home all around me just to grab if I need them. Okay. Yeah, this helps. And as we start to come out of this pigeon, pushing back with your hands, maybe using that left knee for leverage to slip your right leg out. And let's do a counter stretch, taking that right leg and stretching it out behind you toward the wall. Maybe flexing and pointing it. And just getting a nice good counter stretch from our pigeon. Coming back into tabletop, curling our toes under and coming up again into downward facing dog. And now taking our left foot, swinging it up to the sky And then swinging it back down toward our hands, resting it parallel on our mat and doing pigeon on the opposite side. And again, I'm gonna use a little padding right there.
and get situated. And when you're ready, when your body's ready, crawling your hands forward and seeing if you'd like to go to your forearms or resting your head or um, having something to lay your head on. And again, we'll stay in pigeon for about 10 breaths. And when you're ready to come out of this pigeon, slowly crawl those hands back. Maybe using your opposite knee to let your other leg swing out. And again, let's do another counter stretch from our pigeon and shoot your leg toward the back wall. Maybe pointing and flexing your foot. Just a nice juicy stretch. And then coming back to tabletop. We're going to do a tabletop balancing pose now. We're on, our we're on our table and we are going to shoot our right leg back toward the wall. Get really grounded into your mat and take our left hand and reach it forward. Seeing if we can hold a nice straight line between the tips of our fingers all the way back to the tips of our toes. Holding it for just a few breaths. And then coming back into tabletop. And now we'll go to our other side, shooting our left leg back toward the wall and then taking our right hand, holding it out straight ahead. And really feel how you're balancing. Sometimes one side's easier than the other. It's easier on the other side. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Two more breaths. And then back to tabletop. Excellent, Joanne, that was good. was good for my body. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was. Good, good. I want it to feel good. Let's see, I'm just going through some of my poses right here.
And let's do, let's come up on our right foot. Let's do a low lunge. Okay. We're gonna put our right foot up on our mat. Yeah. And your back leg, you can either keep it on your knee or you can stretch it out behind you. And take both hands and just place them on your knee. Stretching the right. left side. Okay. This is another little balancing pose. And then placing your hands back down on the mat, swinging your foot out and coming to the other side in a low lunge. Can't remember which side I did it on. Let's see. I'm okay. <laughs> I do that too. I just go to whichever side doesn't feel used. Okay. And now to placing our hands back down beside the mat and coming back up to your knees. We're going to come up nice and straight and do a little cobra. So you're on your knees and your back shoulders are nice and straight ahead. You're going to place your hands where you would have back pockets. And slowly open your chest. Open your chest and your shoulders first. Get a nice heart opener, which relieves anxiety and helps blood pressure. And then slowly tilt back only as far as you want to go into camel. You can go arch as far back as you want. You can reach back and touch your heels with your fingertips, or just stay right here with your hands in your pockets. And from here, coming forward, curling your toes under. Let's come to a standing pose. Maybe pushing your hands back to a nice little squat and then coming up. And shake out those legs while we're up here. And let's work on our tree pose. And I'm a firm believer in balance poses. I try to do several in practice and on my own. Because one day, balance isn't gonna be our friend. <laughs> Hopefully it will be. It's so, already there for me. Huh? It's already there for me. Oh, <laughs> so I think it's great. Okay, and we're gonna do our hands on our hips. And kickstand, we're gonna start by grinding in that right foot, just nice and firm. Make it your base taking the left foot and kickstanding it on your ankle. You can use a chair or wall for support if you need it, or you can just come on up to your calf. I may have to do the wall. Okay, absolutely. And you can come to your calf or your inner thigh, never your knee, because we gotta take care of our knees. And you can just stay here with a hand on your hip, or you can hold up your branches. You see I'm wobbly on this side too. And slowly bringing your hands back down, letting go of your left foot, and now shaking those out, shaking those feet out. Now let's get our opposite side, really grinding that left foot into the ground. Kick standing our right on our ankle, holding on to a wall or chair if you need to or want to, and then bringing that foot up to your calf. I think I'm just doing calves today. 
hips are square. Maybe bringing those hands, those branches up. Excellent, Joanne, excellent. And then bringing those hands back down to your hips and then dropping that foot back down to the mat. Kicking those legs out, kicking those feet out. And on an inhale, let's swoop those hands to the sky. Deep breath, pinkies facing each other. And then relaxing into a forward fold down to your feet. And then coming up half lift up on your shins. And then another forward fold down to the mat. Feeling that stretch in the backs of your thighs and in your lower back. And then swooping those arms up high to the sky. And bringing them down to heart center. And now we're going to come back down to the mat. And let's, let's get those sits bones nice and seated ground into the mat and put our feet into our, um, uh, some people call it uh, butterfly pose or cobbler's pose, either one. Feet together, knees as far out and down as comfortable for you. And slowly stretching that back up and slowly forward fold, bending over towards your feet. Again, as low as you feel comfortable with. Feeling that stretch. Maybe rocking back and forth. And then when you're ready, coming back up, shooting those feet out straight ahead. Bending forward and going where your hands can meet. It can either be the ankles, the calves, the end of the toes, and feeling that long stretch all the way from the back of your calves to the back of your thighs. And if that doesn't work for you, place them on your, on the tops of your shins. And slowly coming back up, taking that right foot and placing it up on your middle, in your inner thigh, as far up as you can go on your inner thigh with your one leg straight. And then again, draping over your foot or your ankle. Holding this for a few breaths. Feeling the stretch in your leg, but also feeling it in the back of your arms, mm -hmm. your triceps.
And slowly releasing, coming back to the opposite side, which let's see, that's my, mine is my left foot on my inner thigh, right leg straight out. Make sure you tuck your shoulders down from your ears. We don't want to scrunch up our necks. And then draping again over your right foot or your opposite leg, whichever you started with. Excellent. That's really good, Joanne. And slowly releasing, pushing your hands back up. And now let's take, I don't know if you have blocks or blankets, whatever you have, let's place them. We're gonna lay down on our mat. And so place that underneath your back where your sacrum is. Okay. And we're gonna shoot our legs straight up okay. the in the sky. Or do you, need, do you, would you like a wall? Pardon? Which works better for you, your legs straight up in the sky or up against a wall? Um, either way, I can do either one. Okay, great. We'll just go straight up in the air. Yeah, let's do that. Reversing our circulation a little bit. And then when we're ready to come out of this, let's come into our happy baby, holding the outer soles of our foot with our hands and maybe rocking back and forth. I think when we have something in our back, that really, um, that feels good, I think. It's like a nice little massage on your back. One more thing we need to take care of, <laughs> our backs. And then coming to stillness, bringing our knees and giving them a nice hug to our chest. And now you can slide your blanket out from behind your back. Mm -hmm. And taking those knees up together, let's drape them over to the right side and do a nice good stretch, twist, holding our arms out to a T, gazing in the opposite direction of our knees. Twists are also just wonderful for our digestion. And then bringing our knees back up to center and draping them to the left side, holding your gaze toward your right hand.
and then bringing our knees back up to center and giving them another hug. And slowly coming back up to seated. And then Joanne, I wanted to ask you, are there, um, do you have favorite poses that you, that you would like to do weekly or are there certain ones that, that you get a lot of benefit from? We just did two that I really, really like, and I know that it benefits me. The pigeon, really, I, I need it for the sciatic nerve. I just feel I can tell a difference when I've done pigeon. Great. And we did the left to the right. I don't know what you call it, but that really, really helped tremendously. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. I we'll make it. I need, and I'll be back next Tuesday. I need the balance poses because. Okay. Hell, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I needed the wall for the tree, okay? <laughs> Absolutely, we'll keep working on those. And I agree, I'm, I'm right there with you, Joanne. I, I need the jet, you know, not that I want them so much, but I need them. So I'm gonna, I'll be doing balance poses um, quite a bit. So let's do, let me see, let's do one or two more. Okay. And sorry, I have to put on my glasses. Okay, while we're in the seated pose, uh -huh. let's bring, I'm gonna do another twist. Bring our feet together on the mat with our knees up. And we're gonna cross our left foot over our right and taking that left arm around your knee and then your right arm behind you, slowly twisting your body. There's no rush. Twisting your body and gazing softly over your right shoulder. Okay. And let's hold this pose for several breaths. Now slowly coming out of your twist. Let's switch our feet and cross our right foot over our left, curving our right arm around our knees, left hand on the mat behind us, and gazing over our left shoulder. And then slowly coming out of that twist, we're going to recline back and do a reverse pigeon. Bringing your right knee up and crossing it over our left knee with our left foot planted on our mat. And taking our hands and coming around and clasping behind our left thigh. Holding our left leg parallel with the mat. And we're going to hold here for several breaths.
all the while, keeping our yoga breath because we don't want to tense up. And slowly unclasping our hands, bringing our feet back down to the mat and doing the opposite side, taking our left foot over our right knee, crossing it, grasping behind our right thigh and bringing them up. And making sure your lower back is firmly pressed into your mat. Gently letting go of those hands. We bring our feet back to the mat. Let's stretch our legs out. Maybe bring our arms overhead into a full body stretch. And then slowly relaxing, settling in to your Shavasana. Keeping your feet apart hands by your side or hands on your stomach, whatever's comfortable for you. Slowly breathing, bringing your breath back to regular. Closing your eyes. Just slowly sinking into your mat. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, bringing your knees up and rolling to your favorite side. Maybe curling up for a moment. And then slowly pushing yourself back up to your mat in a nice, easy seated position. I wanna thank you very much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.